Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you guys my favorite method to smooth out helmets. Many of you guys have asked how I do it, what method I prefer using, what filler I like to use, and today I will show you guys. So to give you a little bit of context, we want to get a nice smooth finish. When the helmets come off the printer, they are obviously not super smooth. So we need to figure out a way how to smooth them out. And there are multiple ways to do that. You can use wood filler, you can use Bondo spot putty. The method I will show you guys today uses Liquitex modeling paste. So as you can see, I did make a lot of helmets. I need to smooth out a lot of helmets. So I went and just got a gallon of Liquitex modeling paste and I'm actually nearing the end. I've used almost all of it. So that's what we're gonna go over today. Uh, as you can see, I've already started using them. I'll show you a few of the methods that I use to smooth out the helmet. Um, one is just kind of pressing the modeling paste into those regions that need more filler. Um, that and mixing the modeling paste with water and just brushing it over the helmet. So that's what we're gonna go over today. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to do it. So, as you can probably see, and as you've probably noticed, I'm doing this inside. One of the best parts of using the modeling paste is it's non-toxic, so you can do this inside. And during these cold months in the winter, um, I wanna be inside doing this. I don't wanna be outside. So that's why I picked this over the Bondo Spot Putty. So the first method, um, you're gonna need a little scraper thing like this, and then you're just gonna go in, take, just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. That's probably a little bit too much. Um, and I'm gonna identify regions, usually the top, as you can see those rings there, um, or I printed this helmet upside down, so it needs a lot more for the Hunter helmet. But in those regions, they're deeper, thicker grooves and layer lines, so you're gonna wanna smooth it out, and that's where this comes in handy. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, but I. The point is to just get um, the idea across to you guys so you guys know what to do. But basically, I'm just gonna kind of press it into those thicker layer lines just to fill. That's the whole point. Um, this stuff sands pretty easily, so feel free to be generous um, because it will sand off. The one downside, or maybe maybe it's a downside, maybe it isn't, um, to using this modeling paste is um, it is not resistant to water. So if I mess up, I could actually um, fix my mistake by just running water over it and it will kind of just dissolve. Um, so I, I guess that's a pro, but you cannot wet sand with this um, modeling paste on the outside. If you do want to wet sand, um, there is an alternative. Um, and I actually do this um, regardless of whether I wet sand or not. Um, after doing multiple layers of the modeling paste, I will cover the entire thing with filler primer. The filler primer will kind of encase all of the, the work that I've already done. It'll show the imperfections that I still need to work on. And this stuff is okay, it's fine with water. So as long as you got a nice thick coat of this on it, wet sanding is fine, but if I were to run water over this as is, it will take away my work. It will just kind of disintegrate and wash away the modeling paste. So keep that in mind, um, that is something that's important to know. But um, I always interchange this, do a few layers of the modeling paste, do a layer of this, and repeat until, and then sand, and then repeat until it's smooth to my liking. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the first method, is just scooping it out and kind of just pressing it in those, those regions that need it more. So that's one way to use modeling paste. Super effective at filling in those larger regions. Um, and yeah, so next I will show you guys um, how I brush it on by mixing it with water. So the second way to use modeling paste is actually quite simple. 
and I've already mixed it, but essentially you're gonna take a few scoops of a modeling paste. Um, I'm smoothing out five different helmets, so I need enough to apply it to five. So I bit did a little bit more, but uh, a little bit goes a long way, like I was saying. And you're just gonna add enough water and mix it to get um, consistency where you can brush it. Um, to show you a little bit of the consistency. Yeah, see, drip it over. But this stuff can be brushed. And this is actually a little bit on the thicker side. You can go a little bit thinner too. Um, but, and here's my brush. Essentially, that is what you're looking to do. And then you're just gonna brush it all over the helmet. So play around with the thickness. Um, you can go a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner. Uh, if you go thinner, it will require more layers of application. If you go thicker, it might require more sanding because you're gonna leave some brush marks that you're gonna wanna get rid of. So play around with it. Um, this is a little bit thicker than what I normally do, but find that middle ground and just know, like I said, if you go thicker, you might have to do a little bit more sanding. If you go thinner, maybe not as much sanding, but you'll have to do more layers. So just something to keep in mind, but essentially that's it. It's just, this over here, um, dipping it in there, and then I'm just gonna go over the entire helmet um, to fill in those layer lines. So that's basically it. That's the second way to use the modeling paste to fill. Um, first is kind of just pressing in the modeling paste unmixed into those layer lines. Second is mixing a little bit of water um, and then just brushing it on. And yeah, I use a big brush to get more coverage. Um, use an old brush that you're not gonna use for anything else. Um, yeah, but it's simple, that's basically it. So next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover all five of these Bad Batch helmets with this modeling paste. And um, after they're all covered, I'll let them dry and after they're dry, that I'll cover all five helmets with a layer of the spray primer. And I'll be gone for the weekend, so I'll let them sit so the prime, the primer can cure. And then come Monday, um, after it's all cured and dry, I will then reassess, look at all the imperfections, uh, sand a little bit, um, and Based on the regions that need more filling, I will add more modeling paste by either just applying it directly or brushing. And then after I do that again, I'll cover it more primer and keep doing that until it's smooth to my liking. So yeah, once again, we want to get it smooth. So to get to that, we need to do a lot of this. Yes, it, yes, it is a lot of work, um, but these methods and using the modeling paste hopefully facilitate the process and make it just a little bit more bearable, less tedious. So um, that's why I'm sharing this, this idea, um, this method with you guys. Um, hopefully it works out for you. Once again, play around with the ratio of water to, to paste um, to get different thicknesses and, and find out which one you like. But that's basically it. That's how you use modeling paste um, I'm going to cover the rest of these helmets and then I'm going to spray them with filler primer. And there you have it. So I finished covering all five helmets with the modeling paste. Um, let them all dry and then took them outside and just applied a coat of the filler primer. As you can see on the top of Echo, you can see a few of those loops. So it just shows me that I need to put some more filler there. I did a lot of filler on top of, on top of um, Hunter's helmet, so that will require more sanding there. But overall, they're looking a little bit smoother, and that's the whole point. They're not perfect yet, 
and they're not going to be after a few layers of modeling paste and the spray of filler primer. But I have better direction now, now that they're um, covered in filler primer. I know where to sand, where to fill, and I'll just progress from here. Um, after they dry on Monday, I'll probably go at them with either 180 or 220 grit sandpaper. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do it. Hopefully this helps. Um, I have the modeling paste and the filler prim primer linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you guys are interested in picking those up, um, you can go to my storefront and purchase them there through Amazon. And that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.